Five stocks that I plan to hold forever. 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 We're not talking about ETFs or mutual funds. We're talking about individual stocks from individual companies. I invest in a lot of different companies, whether it be through ETFs, mutual funds, or directly through their individual stocks. And these five, I'm directly invested in through their individual stocks and I plan to hold them for a very long time because I see a lot of long-term potential in the companies themselves. The stock price may or may not be doing well at this day and age, but I think in the long term, these companies are going to thrive. And that's why I'm making this video to outline these five companies that I have a lot of faith in for the future. I obviously could be very wrong about any of these companies or maybe all five of them. So it's important to do your own research and form your own opinions. Everyone's situation is different. So an investment that I like for myself isn't always gonna be an investment that you should like for yourself. Quick intro before we get started. I am Mark Palmer. You may know me from Instagram or Twitter at Mark P Wealth. Maybe you don't, I'm not big on either of those platforms by any means. But either way, I'm happy to have you here. I'm an ex-financial professional, so anything that we discuss in this video is purely educational, not meant to be taken as advice. If you want advice specific to your situation, you should consult a real financial advisor and they can help you out. All right, let's get into the five stocks that I plan to hold for the very long term. The first one is Meta Platforms, AKA Facebook. This company already has a very firm grasp on their user base with billions of users on Facebook and Instagram, and they are also gonna be a strong player in virtual reality, especially as people are getting more and more serious about the metaverse. Facebook literally changed its name to Meta because of how serious they are about the metaverse. This isn't really a new venture for Facebook by any means though. They actually bought Oculus back in 2014, long before any of the even tech nerds were talking about the metaverse. Oculus has since transformed into Reality Labs, which is one of the many businesses owned by Meta Platforms. As of March of 2021, the virtual reality division of Facebook actually employed over 10,000 of Facebook's employees. Clearly, they are going all in on the metaverse, especially with their name change to Meta. They're going to focus on the future of whether it be social networking or Web3, or we can just call it the metaverse, I guess. Facebook slash meta platforms is very high on this new technology, this new reality that we may be approaching. And it's gonna be extremely interesting to see what exactly that looks like for the average user. And right now there seems to be a lot of people who are, no, I don't wanna go and be part of the metaverse, but it might just be something that is forced upon us. And if Facebook or meta platforms is leading the way on that, they might be the ones who reap the most benefits from it. Either way, I liked this company. I like the potential that it has. Right now, their stock has been taking a pretty big beating lately. I, regardless of price, think that it's gonna be a good long-term hold for me in my situation. So I plan to hold it for a very long time, perhaps forever. The second company on my list is Coinbase. Here's a stock that's been kicked while it's down trading at lower than half of its all-time high as of today. Full disclosure on this one, I am a cryptocurrency believer. I think there's room in this space for multiple different cryptocurrencies to survive and to thrive. I do have my own opinions on which ones I think will do the best, but like everyone else, no one actually knows what is going to happen in this space and which cryptocurrencies will survive and thrive if any. I like to view this investment kind of like sports betting. You could bet on one team to win a championship or you could bet on a different team to win a championship and you might still end up wrong either way. But the bookie is still going to get paid either way. Investing in Coinbase is my way of betting on the bookie. Every time that you transact or trade on Coinbase, Coinbase is taking their cut of the money that's being exchanged. Regardless of which cryptocurrency you choose, Coinbase is getting paid if you choose it on their platform. Additionally, Coinbase is getting heavily involved in NFTs now too. Another disclosure, I'm not currently investing in NFTs. They're not a big interest to me at this time, but I completely understand 
their use case. And I do think that they are going to play a big role in the coming years or a little bit further down in the future, especially if the metaverse does end up being as big as some people think it will. The third stock on my list is Peloton. This is another stock that's down in the dumps currently and a long ways off from its all-time high. At-home fitness and on-demand workouts are not going away anytime soon, and with a subscriber retention rate of 92%, Peloton has a very loyal subscriber base. I'm going way too overboard on the metaverse in this video, but I do think Peloton is one smart acquisition away from being the leading fitness company within the metaverse if they do choose to go that route. I've done Peloton on-demand workouts myself, and I honestly have had a great time doing them. The instructors are fun, educational, and motivational all at the same time. It was an overall great experience, and I plan to hold the stock for a very long time to see how it plays out. The fourth stock on my list is Tesla. This is probably the most interesting stock of the last decade, probably because they have one of the most interesting leaders. Elon Musk. Bottom line, I believe in that guy. He has a vision far beyond what the average investor sees, and he's definitely in this for the long haul. I think Tesla is many steps ahead of all other car companies in the electric vehicle game, and I also think that they have the most creative innovator leading the way for them. I've only ever ridden in a Tesla once, but it was the smoothest ride I've ever had, and I thought it had the coolest features within the car as well. Not to mention, I think the cars look sweet too. It's another stock that many people will argue is way overpriced, but for me and my long-term mindset, I'm gonna hold on to this one for a long time and see what happens. The fifth and final stock in this video is Apple. When I think about a foundational individual stock, Apple is the first thing that comes to mind every time. This is another company with a cult-like following, and they've managed to come up with a product line of products that are dependent on each other, for example, iPhones, AirPods, and Apple Music all go hand in hand. They plan to come out with an Apple car in the next few years, and it will likely be a self-driving vehicle that is run on the iOS system. Will the Apple car be as cool as a Tesla? I doubt it, but it might not matter in the end. If they find ways to make their car bring out and maximize the potential of their other products, like their iPhone, it could just be all that they need to gain a very solid customer base right out the gate. Additionally, Apple is sitting on a ton of cash, and they really have been for quite some time, and they're nice enough to pay a small dividend each quarter to their investors. The company is in a great position to continue its growth, and regardless of how high the stock price is right now, I'm going to hold on to Apple stock for many years to come. All right, that wraps up the five company individual stocks that I plan to hold forever. We talked about Meta Platforms, aka Facebook. We talked about Coinbase, we talked about Peloton, we talked about Tesla, and we talked about Apple. Again, these are just my own opinions for my own situation. These companies might not be a good fit for you. And honestly, I don't even know if they are a good fit for me overall. But I'm betting on them myself because I like what I see in the company. I like their future potential. But who knows? I could lose all my investment in these companies. That's just part of the game of investing, especially when you're investing in individual stocks. I'd love to hear if you plan to hold any of these companies for the long term, or if there are other companies that you think I, or yourself at least, should hold for the long term as well. Feel free to leave those companies in the comments section below. You can also leave any feedback of this video, critiques, tell me that it's terrible, whatever you wanna say in the comments below, or if you wanna say it to me more behind the scenes, you can always message me or reach out to me on one of my other social medias. You can do that through Instagram or Twitter at Mark P. Wealth. If you enjoyed this content, I appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. It's the best way to see more content like this and it's the best way to motivate me to make more content like this. Maybe you will choose not to like this video and not subscribe to my channel because you don't want me to make any more of this content and that's completely fine too. The choice is yours, but just know it'll make my day if you do like it and if you do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time.